Welcome to data modeling tutorial in Power BI. Today we will learn about Snowflake data model and Star data model. They are also known as Star schema and Snowflake schema. We will create both data models in Power BI and try to understand the difference between these two. This is the data set which we will use in our today's video. It has the sales table, the salesperson's table, products table, order method table and other related tables which will be used in our data modeling. Let's import the data set to our Power BI application by clicking on the Excel workbook button here. Since our data is in an MS Excel file and then we will select the file and click on the open button which will take us to the navigator window here we will select all the sheets or tables which we want to import and click on the load button to load the data into the data pan Once the data has been imported, it will be placed in the data pane here and you can use all the fields to create reports and dashboards. So here are all the tables and their fields. To create a data model, we have to go to the model view. There are two types of data models. One is the star schema and the other is the snowflake schema. In both models, the fact table is at the heart of the data model. And all the dimensions are connected with the fact table. The difference is that in the star schema, all the dimensions are directly connected to the fact table. While in case of snowflake schema, all dimensions are not directly connected to the fact table. Some of them are connected to the other dimensions, creating a sort of snowflake. So back to our Power BI data model. The sales table is the fact table. This is the main table and all other tables have to connect to this table. So there are three basic dimension tables which are product, salesperson and order method. If we connect these three tables to the sales table, this will create a star schema. So let's connect the product table to the sales table and the salesperson table to the sales table and then the order method table to the sales table as well. This is now a perfect example of a star schema because there is a uh, fact table and there are three dimensions table all connected to the fact table however we still have five tables left which we did not connect to the sales table and the problem is that these tables cannot be connected to the sales table directly. These tables can connect to the other tables. So let's do that. The product category table will be connected to the product table. The method type table will be connected to the order method table.
the branch table will be connected to the salesperson table. The city table will be connected to the branch table. and the state table will be connected to the city table and this is a snowflake model where all dimension tables are connected to the sales table but they are not directly connected to the sales table except these three tables are connected to the sales table directly but all other tables are indirectly connected to the sales table and for example the state table is connected to the city table which is connected to the branch table which in turn is connected connected to the salesperson table which is then connected to the sales table so this is a complex kind of data modeling structure as compared to the star schema and this is the basic difference between the two data models in the star schema all uh, dimension tables are directly connected to the fact table whereas in the snowflake uh, data model all tables are not directly connected to the fact table if you want to edit a relationship you can simply double click on this line and edit a relationship or you can simply delete the relationship and create a new one so these two were incorrectly created so we can delete them and create the new ones based on this data model this snowflake schema we can now create our power bi dashboards and reports and we can use uh, all fields in all tables in the same visuals because they are interconnected however before creating any reports or dashboards you may have noticed that the sales table does not contain the sales amount because the sales amount is not actually the sales price which is in the product table but the uh, result of price and the quantity quantity is mentioned in the sales table so first we have to create a column for the sales uh, amount by multiplying the quantity with the price so to do that we will create a new color and we will name it sales and then we will use the related function and use the price field from the product table and we will multiply that to the quantity field in the sales table and this will generate the sales amount now that we have the sales column and our data model is now complete we can go to the report view and create a dashboard and Creating a dashboard from a snowflake model or a star schema is different than creating a dashboard from a single table because in this kind of dashboard we can use columns and fields from multiple tables. So let's start our dashboard. So first of all let's add a text box at the top of the dashboard and enter our title here let's call our dashboard 
Apex Sales Analysis. Let's set its font size to 28 and make it bold. Now most of our data is categories. So best suited visual for that is a pie chart or a donut chart. So let's add one to our dashboard and then let's add the branch field from the branch table to the legend and sales to the values so now we have branch wise sales visual on our dashboard let's create a copy of this visual and paste it here and remove the branch field and replace it with the method type so now we have a donut chart showing the sales by the order method type and once again we will copy this uh, pie chart or donut chart to our dashboard and replace the method type field with the product category and now, now we have a product category wise sales visual next we have a geographical information which we can present on a map let's add a map chart to our dashboard and place it here and add the sales to the bubble size and the city name to the location and finally we will add a line chart to our dashboard and in the line chart we will add sales to the y-axis and quantity to the secondary y-axis and date to the x-axis and the dates are not uh, properly formatted so we can go back to the table view and select the date field and from data type we can select the date and click on the yes button now these are properly formatted and the visuals will now understand the data as dates So our dashboard is now almost complete. Uh, we can make it more visually beautiful by going to the effects and turning on the visual borders. We can also add some rounded corners. And we can do that to all of the charts unlike Lucas studio we cannot copy uh, formatting from one chart to another so we have to manually uh, format each chart and we cannot even select all charts and format them because only similar charts can be formatted this way so let's select the map chart and go to the effects add the visual borders and add the rounded corners and then select the line chart and do the same and that's it 
our dashboard is now complete so today we have created a dashboard from a snowflake data model or snowflake schema and i hope that you have understood how to create a snowflake schema in power bi and how to create a dashboard from a complex snowflake uh, schema in power bi uh, and in case of any question you can ask in the comments below and the link to the dashboard will be placed in the uh, description below please do subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos see you in the next tutorial